Due to low ratings, American Pickers abruptly changes its schedule, and Mike Wolf and the cast suspend filming for a new season. Mike stopped his new episode filming last week unexpectedly in order to go on a special trip. The long-running program has had volatile ratings as it has battled to attract the large audience it once had. This week, it raised concerns once more because it doesn't seem like a new episode will air during the regular hour for the show. Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the History Channel are when American Pickers often airs. On the network's website, though, it is now listed as a Pawn Stars marathon. The U.S. Sun exclusively disclosed last week that the March 20 show saw a jump in ratings to 800 and 32,000 viewers, a notable increase above earlier figures. Viewership for the March 13 episode was barely 785,000, and the season's numbers have varied. On December 27, 2023, season 25 premiered, starring Mike Wolf, 59, his brother Robbie Wolf, 57, 60-year-old newcomer Jersey John, John Chalet, and 48-year-old Danielle Colby. The description of the March 20 show only mentioned Mike, Robbie, and Jersey John. The episode's viewership increased after Mike pleaded with followers on social media to watch. This is your last chance to catch the American Pickers program on the History Channel tonight. Remember to catch the train at 9 8 c In an Instagram post, Mike wrote, Keep watching for more details. Hi viewers, my name is Elena. Welcome to my channel, like this video and subscribe to our channel, so let's start. Many viewers felt that the episodes were dull and boring, which made them question about the show's future. A few people expressed their displeasure with Robbie's performance and demanded that he be dismissed. Frank Fritz, 58, who was fired from Mike and Danielle's co-hostship in 2021, was replaced by Robbie. Despite the negative reviews, it was recently disclosed to the astonishment of fans that the gang was recording fresh episodes of American Pickers. But Mike seems to take a vacation from filming last week, as seen by the Instagram photo he posted of himself relaxing at home in Tennessee. It portrayed him behind the wheel of a vehicle, traveling along a lonely road while admiring the sunset. It feels good to be back home with a full moon tonight in the 1960 Impala, the reality star captioned the photo. Mike and Robbie were thinking of leaving the program shortly, a close friend of theirs had previously informed the U.S. Sun. Although neither has said when they want to terminate the program, Mike has been concentrating on other business ventures. In addition to his several antique stores, Mike owns a number of other enterprises. Letitia Klein, his 45-year-old girlfriend, just started Ace Coffee in Cave City, Kentucky, and Mike has been actively involved in the business. Letitia Klein, the model who officially launches a coffee shop, has disclosed her enterprises with American Pickers star Mike Wolf's fiancé. Also included are more specifics about Mike's extracurricular activities. After months of remodeling, Letitia, 45, finally hosted her coffee shop's grand opening on Saturday. Guests in Cave City, Kentucky, enjoyed great music and free freebies for the store's grand opening. Interested customers were given granola bars and refreshments by the store. It is anticipated that the area would transform into a bar at night. Mike's girlfriend praised her lover for his support in the middle of March. The adorable photo of the two locking lips was posted by the former Playboy model. Letitia wrote, I couldn't have done any of this without my love. The American Pickers presenter, she said, has the best ideas and is so supportive. Even when he knows it means sacrificing time together some. The former beauty and the geek star also called the route to her big debut a very expensive road. C-U-P-P-E-R-S the U.S. Sun reported in early March that the former model purchased the commercial property on July 16, 2021. The property records indicate that she paid around $110,000 for the two-story structure. Lidica purchased the two-story brick buildings units A and B. 
She submitted a business license application for Collins & Klein for Sweet Bee in January 2022. The sales deed said restaurant slash recreation bar or lounge at the time. The marketing director started Sucker Punch, a pickle firm, over two years ago. The U.S. Sun published an article in February 2022 detailing the 45-year-old businesswoman's expansion of her enterprise. Letitia launched the diving, a restaurant with a upscale dive atmosphere, in 2019. The proprietors of the business are Letitia's mother, Debbie Passamore, and sister, Shannon Burke, in addition to the supermodel. Debbie paid $38,000 for the property in May 2019. The TV personality also runs the Smiley's Garage, a facility for Cave City's motorcycle community. In July 2018, Letitia paid $20,000 for the building with her sister Shannon. Brilliant wife ideas. She revealed her business ambitions with her fans on Instagram at the time. When I was a little girl, I told my mom I was going to get rich and come back and buy my hometown Cave City, Letitia recalled. I didn't come back rich, but I came back full of ideas and the knowledge of how to achieve a goal. Since then, I've transformed a century-old building into four more businesses, opened a community motorcycle garage and bar, and sat on the city council. I'm proud of where I'm from and work tirelessly to see it reach its full potential," she said in closing. Letitia joined Standard Motorcycle Corporation as a co-founder in 2014. What transpired between Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf in the American Pickers feud, and where do they stand now? The stars of American Pickers, Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf, had a falling out in 2020 after more than 40 years of friendship. What transpired to spark their argument, and how do they currently stand? Why did American Pickers star Frank Fritz leave? On American Pickers Season 21, viewers began to suspect danger was looming in 2020. With the March 9, 2020 broadcast, Frank unexpectedly ceased coming on the show and gave no explanation to the audience as to why he was gone. According to the U.S. Sun, Frank later said that he had to take a break from shooting to undergo back surgery, which resulted in 185 stitches in two rods in his spine. He continued to manage his chronic Crohn's illness as he recovered. Whether I return to the show is up to the network, he stated in a 2021 interview with the publication. It won't have any impact on me at all, I stayed at the concert. After I wrapped the filming, I underwent minor back surgery, and then the pandemic struck. Frank was unseen throughout the January 2021 debut of season 22. Mike revealed that his co-star would not be coming back that summer. Mike posted on Instagram, saying, I have known Frank for as long as I can remember. He's been like a brother to me. Like everything in life, the journey that Frank, Danny, Colby, and I embarked on back in 2009 has had its highs and lows, blessings and challenges, but it has also been the most fulfilling. Like all of you, I will miss Frank, and I pray for the very best and all good things for him on the next part of his journey," he said in closing. Entertainment Weekly said at the time that the network didn't think Frank fit into the big picture of the show. Frank, however, acknowledged that he would like to come back to the show, but he wasn't certain whether it would happen. A lot of controversy is raging right now, he acknowledged. What was the situation with Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf of American Pickers? As Frank stated to the U.S. Sun in July 2021, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He didn't call to check on me, even though he knew I had a back problem. That's the way things are. In addition, he bemoaned the way American Pickers was produced, saying, the show is tilted towards Mike, 1000%. I'm not even able to stoop that low to convey to you how much. That's all right. It's similar to having Steven Tyler as the front guy of Aerosmith. I located my place. On the broadcast, he is ranked number one and I am ranked second. I have no issue with it. Perhaps he really does have an issue. Frank made a comeback the next month to criticize Mike for the post 
he made announcing Frank's departure from the popular show. He said, Mike's statement was bulls, as reported by Newsweek. It was typewritten for him by someone. You know, I don't think he's uttered five kind words to me in ten years. Unless we were both giggling as he was mutilating someone else. Mike then made a suggestion that their falling out was caused by Frank's battle with addiction. The History Channel personality declared, We all do care about Frank and want him back on the show. We would both really want to speak with him again, but he simply can't seem to get it right. Frank's addictions are just causing him a great deal of personal suffering. It's regrettable that he made choices that shaped who he is today.